Hey guys, Jared James Nichols here, hanging out at Sweetwater today, and I'm gonna take you through my Epiphone Old Glory and the Black Star JJ and 20. So here we have it, Old Glory in all of her glory. This guitar is awesome, I love it. Epiphone knocked it out of the park with this. Old Glory has all the Les Paul custom appointments I love with a few other additional features. We have the Seymour Duncan USA P90, simple lightning rap tail bridge, volume tone, all mahogany, all mahogany body, ebony fingerboard, medium jumbo frets, got a thick chunky C profile, and then on the back, we're sporting the Grover tuners. The beauty about this guitar and what you know really turns me on about it is the fact that it's so simple, but you can do anything with it. I mean, uh, my goal is to get as many sounds of it as possible. Using the simple volume and tone, I mean, the sky's the limit. I'll, I'll play a few examples of some different things I'd do with it. So check this out. The cool part about it is the volume and tone actually work. When you go from 10 to eight, eight to six, two to 10, you know, there's different sounds and you play the same riff three, four times with different tones and you know, you get three different sounds. So check this out. You know, the imagination, that's, that's everything you got right there. And then messing around with the tone knob, you can get the poor man's wah-wah. And what's cool for me, being a fingerstyle player, is Everything about this pickup really, really shapes, you know, what's coming out of it, whether it's really, you know, soft and... Or coming up on it. There's a whole world inside these two knobs, and uh, the more you mess with it, the more tones you find. And, you know, it's just fun, especially through a loud tube amp. So a lot of you guys are probably thinking, where's the neck pickup, right? And it's true, there's only one pickup on this, but the cool part about it is when you mess with the tone knob and you bring that back to about five or less, you can kind of get the neck pickup sound. And if you go all the way back, you get the woman tone, which is great. So check this out. Bring that all the way up. I'll, I'll start all the way up and go all the way down. And then you kind of get your like, uh, your woman tone on, you have the little A lot of people will think that this uh, tailpiece, you know, they don't see them a lot and, and that there's a really big difference with intonation. And 
the thing that I experience the most is it's a little more reactive and, and when you play and you get kind of closer or further away, it just, it really kind of takes that and magnifies it a little bit. So when I'm playing a little closer to the bridge, get more of a metallic kind of sharper sound. And as I move my hand away, you know, you can kind of get more of a. I think it's pretty cool too with sustain and when you're, you're holding out notes, just having the simple rap tail, for me it just feels a little better and uh, I'm a little more confident with it. What you're hearing as well, I'm just plugging this into a TC Electronics Sentry, just a noise, noise gate, just for the P90 being so close, straight into the amp, so there's no pedals on. Um, you know, we're just, uh, we're trying to go straight into the amp. Guys, I am so excited to show you my brand new signature Blackstar Amps JJN20. I love this amp. I love the sounds that I can get out of it. It has everything I need in this simple little mini stack. We have the Vertical 212, it's pretty cool because most combos you see, you're seeing the speakers here, right? This one now, we're just a little elevated. And we have the British Racing Green with the basket weave. I think it looks super cool. And you know, I was able to voice this amp. I picked the speakers. I picked every facet of what is going on here. And uh, you know, I'd love to show it to you guys. What's cool about this cabinet that you won't see in a lot of others is the fact that it has mismatched speakers. And for me, when we were building it and developing it, you know, we were trying everything. And once we had this specific combination, you know, it really, you could tell, it felt wider, it made it very nuancy. Everything that I was playing, it was just a lot more dynamic. And for me as a player, as many of you, you don't realize until you actually hear it how important the speakers are. On the top, we have a Celestion G12T75, and on the bottom, we have a Celestion V-Type. These speakers are such a great marriage. They give me all the punch, but they have the nuancy warmth and the dynamic clarity that I need. The cool thing about this cabinet as well is that on the back, there's a panel right in the middle that I can take off if necessary. Sometimes when you're playing different venues, you know, and your amp is really far back, you know, it's against a wall, or if it's off, you know, you wanna have that kind of range. It takes it from being a closed back to an open back simply by taking off the middle panel. It's super cool. Let's talk about the head, let's get into it. So check this out. 20 watts, we have 12 AX7s in the front, and then we have EL84s in the back. And what's cool about this is it's two channels with voice switching. There's an effects loop, there's a pedal switcher that can take you from each channel and also activate the reverb on and off. Now you'll see the first channel is just a clean channel with a voice switch. You get your clean, kind of chimey sounds through there. And then I like to call the voice when you push that in, that's more of the British boutique sound. And you know, that's, that's better, you know, if you're really running some pedals or you wanna throw a fuzz in front of it. I find that that's just a great setting and it's super versatile. Moving on to the second channel, which is my favorite channel, is the blues power channel. And that's the one that I said to the guys, now when I have an amp, if all else fails, I just wanna be able to plug in, click on the blues power channel and go for it. And you know, we, we knocked it out of the park. You know, it sounds awesome. It sounds like everything I'd want in an amp really on that channel. And that's great too, because once you're on that channel, there's an extra voice setting that really kicks it into overdrive and uh, it takes you to the next dimension. In addition to the simple bass middle treble, I also have the ISF feature, the infinite shape feature, which can take me from the clean chimey, you know, to super dark. You know, it's going from an American amp to a British amp. And what's great about that is, you know, when you get into a certain venue or you pick up a certain guitar or, you know, you're, you're in a recording, sometimes you might need a little more clarity, you might need a little more bass in there. And if you don't have enough already on there, this kind of helps tweak in the tone a little more. It's really an awesome feature that you don't find on many amps at all. Another cool feature about my head is that it has an emulated speaker output. 
This is great if you're at a gig or you're in a recording session and you don't have time to mic up your cabinet. This will give you all that nuance and warmth straight in. So this is what the clean sounds like. Now this is your clean channel with the voice activator on. Moving on, we have the blues power channel. Here we go. <laughs> And if you want to go crazy, here's the Blues Power Channel with the voice activation on. I'm gonna mess around with the ISF a little bit. So here's straight in the middle on the Blues Power Channel. Let's move that baby all the way hard left. Here we go. Take it all the way to the hard right. Here we go. And now let's just move it around. Guys, thanks for checking out my rig today, and I want to let you know that Sweetwater is the only place that you can get the bundle. You get the guitar, the amp together, you can get them separately, however you want it, but this is the place to do it. Call your Sweetwater sales engineer today, and I will see you out on the road. <laughs>